A community in Boulder that practices togetherness is now fearful it'll be split apart. The owners of the Buddhist community's Marpa House say it could soon be up for sale. Sean Chitness spoke to community members today who are fighting to stop the sale. Sean. Well, Karen, there are a couple efforts going on tonight to try and keep this place as it is. Both the residents who live here as well as nearby neighbors trying to raise enough money to make a counter offer, but at the same time trying to see if they can make this a historic landmark. Peter Boyce has lived at Marpa House for more than a decade. He says it became home for him at a time when he was struggling personally. It has made astounding changes in my life. A place of community, the residents that live here in shared spaces enjoy the bond they've developed with each other. It's very simple and we just, you know, live together, cook together, do our dishes. Founded on principles of Buddhist teachings, it's not only a peaceful place for its residents, neighbors have come to love it for the contributions it makes to their part of Boulder. This has been a historic neighborhood that has been a family neighborhood for, you know, 100 years. So now residents and neighbors are raising money to try and buy Marpa House before it's sold to someone else. They say plans to turn it into private student housing would be the wrong move. Trying to put together the best offer we can so that we can uh, keep Marp House going and it can continue to serve. Not only do they think it will change the setting of the neighborhood, but current residents may not find an alternative that is affordable. Using donations and loans, they offered a bid of $3 million that was rejected. They're working to bring in more money for a competitive new offer. For Boulder itself to lose this, uh, would be a travesty. Now, today we were unable to get in touch with the organization that owns Marpa House as well as the developer that may potentially buy it. But we did talk to those residents and neighbors who are still working on that competitive new offer. They say, in addition to donations as well as loans, they're also looking into grants that may help them to increase that new offer. Live tonight in Boulder, Sean Chitness covering Colorado First.